Indigenous dance group is suing the federal government after hundreds of feathers were confiscated from them at the U.S.-Mexico border. The group alleges it was a violation of their First Amendment rights. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda has the details. They are Danza Azteca Tenochtitlan, and this is dance, culture, and religion. The feathers are very meaningful. Back in March, the group was in Mexico bringing back other dancers for an event when they were stopped at the border crossing at San Isidro. Ruby Merrick was in tears as she describes how she felt. Embracing your own culture, embracing your own identity, that it's wrong. She says their vehicle was surrounded and agents from the Department of the Interior confiscated hundreds of feathers. Documents show they were from macaws, parrots, pheasants, and other birds. Not at any time did they ask them were these for religious purposes. And the other thing is that these feathers were coming from Mexico, where Native American religious practices are respected. Merrick says she was treated like a criminal. I was treated like a drug, um, you know, it was a, a cartel. Agents determined some of the feathers were legal and returned, but others, such as those from pheasants, were not. And we're demanding that those feathers be returned because many of those feathers have been passed down for many generations. Merrick was charged with failure to declare at the border and bringing in prohibited items. She was fined $500. The group's attorney says this violates their First Amendment rights. Native Americans in the United States are allowed to have macaw feathers and other feathers for ceremonial reasons. Uh, and again, they're revered. Um, but Native Americans coming from Mexico, somehow for some reason, their feathers are being confiscated. We contacted the Department of the Interior. They would not comment, saying the seizure letter gives all the information, indicating this was in violation of the Endangered Species Act. Merrick says it is very painful. What have I done that it's so illegal and, and, and wrong? Attorneys say these ceremonial items are very personal, and that's why they're now asking for a million dollars per person for emotional distress. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.